I was on the state in John Felix and here with Rogue Nation and uh, we're going to uh, go into Tampa port to see if they'll allow us to film in the public areas Hey there. Oh, thank you.
glass of water. Yes, yes. You need to contact the full authority. Yep, we already okay. did. That's what I'm trying to show you. Do you see what it says there? You do not need a permit if... Okay, listen to this. I'm looking for the full authority. Uh-huh. Okay, I need you to contact the full authority uh, PR office. Yep. They will send me the email. Okay. And they call me up to let me know that you will be here. And I have no problem to let you go. But right now, this area now allows you to, to, to film in anything. Okay. Okay, so you don't mind. I'll give you the phone number to contact the report. Well, they, they, told, they told me I didn't need a permit. I, you do. Because I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to the Port Authority. Okay, so th this is from the Port Authority. This is wrong? Okay, I don't know. I don't I don't see any email okay. to let me know that you will be out here to film in or report it. Do you want to check us? I check everything, my email will come directly to my cell phone right here. Okay. Okay. All right. So I got nothing on here to indicate that you, uh, what's your first name? Uh, Captain Austin. Captain Austin will be here. Okay. okay. And if they do that, I think that your guy come out here last time. Yeah, and they told here. you that you have to be in the grass area, not in here. Yeah, that's what okay. they said. Mr. Montevino, that's my boss. Right, right. And then okay. when they told me that and I contacted the yeah. court, okay. they, they said there's no policy against filming. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I really appreciate that. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Because I have to work to you also. And if, if you're able to do that, I appreciate that. Yeah, well, I, I've already talked to him. So we're, okay. we're just going to stand around and do a little bit. I'm going to drink more water. They're telling you that you have to go down there with the grass area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's you don't mind to do that for me? No, no, I do mind. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So I really appreciate if you did, if you do for me. Yeah. No, I, I know. Okay. But All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay. So. I mean, I'm working here, so yeah, you have a good day too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hmm? Want to try the water? Hey, go ahead. Hey, hey. Hi. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, you got a little water. There you go. Thank you. Oh, uh, pretty good water here. Okay. Mm. Nice to see
shipping port is not open? It's not open to the general public. No. Okay. It's only, see, the terminal is currently being leased for Carnival Cruise Line. So they're leasing this for right. a month? However, it's like the airport. No, it's just for the day. Okay. That's why I said that tomorrow, when there's no ship here, you can come up here, walk around, and you'll take for your hearts. But right now, it's, it's, it's not open to the general public. The only ticketed passengers are permitted up here. Now, the, the, uh, any area that's open to the general public for via videotaping, uh, news, or any for whatever reason you want to videotape, take pictures, the grass area between the driveway and the parking lot is designated for any news media, if you will. And that, uh, yeah, Deputy, do y'all have, um, have a TSA inside? I'm sorry? Do y'all have TSA inside? Yes, sir. Uh, well, we're allowed to film TSA as well. Well, that, to their not in here. Yeah. Not in this porch, you cannot. Like in, anywhere, not sir. in this porch, you cannot, sir. This is ticketed passengers only, and for security reasons, we do not allow, and I'm sure you respect that, because I'm sure you traveled yourself at one time or another. You don't want people in the general public to be able to see uh, and, what uh, kind of security procedures go on. We don't allow And there are a lot of celebrities don't want to be filmed either, but uh, paparazzi well, does anyway. I understand that's paparazzi, but that's when you're, when you're a paparazzi and you're talking about you know, celebrities that are open in general. For example, if I don't want you to take my picture, if I'm out in the open public, I have no expectation of privacy. If I'm in my house, I have an expectation of privacy. Oh, yeah, yeah, we okay? Know. So, uh, but, but now, now let me clarify because you did see me last time. Yes, sir. I was here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I went home. Yes, sir. We called the port. Yes, sir. The port specific, and I've got tax documents in here, too. I just, uh, but I've got tax documents that show that this is a public place. This is government owned. It is, yes, sir. Right, uh, right now, it's not. They, they said that they said as long as we don't pass those doors, it doesn't matter. If there's no restriction, I've been directed because I brought this up. I really personally don't care. I take my picture of myself out. It doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't affect me. Um, and I have nothing against it. But I have specifically asked the court again. And they said, no, not up here. Not allowed to interfere with those operations. Yeah. Even the news people don't do that. I mean, the major networks. Bangers 9, etc. And they come. We tell them where they can go. Right, it, it says right in there why. Now, right here it says when we're producing a new segment, we don't need a permit. If they're a handheld device, we don't need a news permit. But, but the cameras, the news crews, they come with a big setup, so you're allowed to tell them where to go. Right, but as long, but even ticketed passengers are not allowed to videotape. Right. If you're a ticketed passenger and you come up here and start videotaping, I'm going to tell you, sir, ma'am, please stop videotaping. You're not allowed to videotape here. Even cell phones inside the terminal is restricted. People taking pictures, if people want to take pictures in there, I'm telling you, you're not allowed. If they're persistent, you're trespassing through the terminal. Yeah, what I'd want to know is what law is that? It, sir, there's no law. It's called trespass. No, it's so it's, it's a uh, policy. It's property. It's, it's court, court rule. It's, it's uh, not a law. It's public, court rule. Publicly owned property. Yes, it's publicly owned property except for on cruise ship days. Uh, the the, the Tampa there, International Airport is publicly owned property. Is there a law that says they're only on cruise ship days? Is, can you show me a statute? Let me, uh, policy. Can we look on the website. There's no policy that says... You can come to the port on the days carnival's not shipping and you can ship. Well, the thing is, for security reasons, okay, nobody's allowed up here to the port. I mean, you understand, like, terrorist actions right. and, 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 like and I'm sure you know we hear that all the time at every place, every place we go. And like I said, me personally, I don't have a dog in the fight. I, you, you know, if the port tells me you guys can report, I'll leave an escort you in. It, it, but the port told me nobody up here is allowed to report. And if anybody knows that better, it's that uh, little gentleman that was just up here. I'm sorry to call him little, but uh, yeah. he happens to be the terminal manager. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I talked with him. Okay. Uh, I, I asked him if he'd like to call somebody because the, the, the press is right. It's, it's the same as the general public now. If, if for example, if these doors or if there was some kind of restriction down there, uh, right. but if, if you want to restrict the terminal, Across the back of 
put a gate there and a gate there like we have it. And that way there's a deputy at that time. When you come up, they go, do you have a ticket to get on the ship? No. Unfortunately, the terminals are in the process of being remodeled. That one is But until such time, I'm going to sign that. What, yeah. yeah what what is the difference between, what's the difference between a, a seaport and an airport as far as uh, public areas? Now we go in public areas and airports and film. In, right. You in go lobbies. inside the yeah. terminal. Yeah. You go out to the to land side. Then we go inside the public area, the lobby. Right. Before you go into screening. The public area here is downstairs, outside. You cannot videotape anywhere near the doors, the garage doors, because. That is, the, that is where the security takes place of the screening, what goes on inside the inner workings. That's why we prevent, yeah. that's why the recording is not permitted, because you can't record the inner security workings because of obvious reasons. A terrorist might sit there and go, uh huh, here's a weak link, here's a weak link. Oh, look, this guy, they leave this door un, un, unmanned, we can sneak in. Oh, look, you know, there's a trash can there, we can put a bomb there. A, uh, and the TSA providing security? Yeah, and, and a passenger? The TSA is providing, they provide the screening of the luggage. And a passenger with a notepad can do the same thing. A passenger coming through can jot down all the information as well. Doors are locked. Well, we could what if all day long. Yeah. However, in the meantime, I mean, the port hires us and says, only ticketed passengers are allowed up here. If not, it's my job to say, gentlemen, you must leave. If you refuse to leave, then it's my job to arrest you for trespass after a while. Okay. All right. okay. Well, so feel free to go downstairs. Well, we're, we're going to stay if that's, if that's all right. I mean, I came, I came here to stay. Like I said, I've done all my homework. Yeah, well, you can't stay up here, sir. Okay. All right. I'm sorry because that that is that is the clear marching orders I got from the court. If you, if you get a representative from the court to come down here and tell me, let this gentleman in, I'm like, well, right, right, but I, I, I don't need I don't need someone from the court to tell me I can practice my rights. You know what I mean? Like, well, like I said, like, like, days like, were, Right. So she's a ticketing passenger. Right. So, so, I know. I, I, I understand what you're saying. Okay. I totally agree. Then you don't okay. know they're ticketed so passenger. Okay. And, and I've already researched it with the board, and I'm more than happy to stay here. And then if you guys need to remove me, then you guys can. Okay. Well, then I'm going to have to ask you to leave, sir. You're going to be trespassing. And then you're going to be arrested. You can go downstairs, but up here is reserved for ticketing passengers. Okay. I really appreciate your cooperation. Yeah, 
I can give you the authority to videotape me, but I can't give you the authority to videotape me while I'm inside the building. First Amendment rights. Okay, I understand. I'm, that. I'm acting as a journalist right now. Freedom of speech, freedom of uh, press, and freedom to observe our public officials. Okay. You know, those are all First Amendment rights we're here to try to protect. But you understand this is private property, correct? Uh, it's public, pu public property. It's, it's, it's pub in my hand. Okay. It's public property. It's a private company funded by public. So it makes it public. It's ran by the mayor and commissioners. It's a totally public funded entity. It's not taxed on the payroll, on the TSI. Mm -hmm. It's public. Okay, but you understand this is a secure area up here because uh, there are no, 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 no security they, signs. They count security. Nobody stopped us from walking up here. So uh, I, I, I could say no blacks allowed. That has a yeah, yeah. power is that. I mean, I can make up signs all day long. I can put one on me that says, if you look at me, you owe me 50 bucks. What does that mean? Yeah. yeah. We're law enforcement, so we, we go by the law. The water. Huh? I like the water. I'm sorry, sir. I like the water. Oh well. Yep. I, I, I drink some all ago. It's pretty good water. Yeah, I'll good. probably get that's some here in a minute. Yeah. Okay. 
I just called Mark. Mark said the trespass in front of you. I'm sorry? Mark Cabino said the trespass in front of you because they're not going to hold the investment. Yes, sir. I didn't hear what you said, sir. Sir, I didn't hear what you said. Are you leaving, sir? I didn't hear what he said. He said you're being trespassed from the property. Uh, is that what he said? Are you I didn't, leaving? I yes, didn't. he did. Well, I'm not. I'm well, explaining to take, you. Take, take, come, come take, are you leaving? Could you? Can you explain it to him for me? I didn't hear what you said. I was talking to him. Yeah, can you explain it to him? I didn't sir? hear it. Loud out here. I told him that uh, the court allow y'all got to go down in the fourth floor. They got the detonation area for y'all got to stand there. Oh, what? Um, for uh, filming it downstairs. So if you want to be up here, you need to call and ask permission to do that. Okay. Um, Is that, uh, okay, I understand what you're saying and what will happen if we don't leave? Unfortunately, that we have to trespass you out of here. And what will happen if you trespass me and I, I still don't leave? Sir? What will happen if I trespass and oh, you still I don't leave? I turned over to a deputy right now. So you have oh, you turned over that. to a deputy. What's the deputy going to do? I don't know. Yeah, I can you don't know? He's, he's trespassing you from the property. It means you're not okay. here. If you refuse okay. to leave, then you're, you're subject to an arrest. Okay, so I'm subject to an arrest. Okay. So do you want to leave? No, sir. Okay. Turn around. Don't turn them off, sir. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well. Oh. 